Folks, there is so much going on in Betaflight right now. With Betaflight 3.0, it feels really close to dropping, doesn't it? If it's coming soon and it's bringing all these new exciting features. And I can't tell you how busy I am right now trying to get all this stuff sort of grasped in my head so I can make videos for you. Uh, and instead of doing one big Betaflight 3.0 release, I'm kind of releasing a little bit more bite-sized stuff uh, as I sort of feel like I've got a grasp on it. And what I'm going to tell you about now is not actually Betaflight, but Black Box Explorer. And it relates back to Betaflight because it relates to tuning the notch filter. We'll talk about that. Let's get into it. Until now, if you wanted to use the custom version of Black Box Explorer, you've seen me you've seen me use it in the live streams. It's got all these extra features and people are like, where do I get that? And I have to say, well, go to GitHub, download this thing, enable developer mode in Chrome, and then install it, and it's a real pain in the butt. At the very least, it's a pain in the butt because it doesn't auto-update. You need to manually download the updates one after the other after the other. Who wants to do that? I sure don't. And now you don't have to because the Black Box Explorer, the Beta Flight Black Box Explorer, is now available from the Chrome Web Store. Now, if you search for Black Box, you'll see the original Clean Flight Black Box Explorer here from Sherlock Software. That's not the one you want. Sorry, Sherlock Software. <laughs> We've moved on. Uh, the Boris B Beta Flight Black Box Explorer is the one you want. That's the one with all the new and fancy features. And you can install it right here from the store, and then it'll just show up in your app tray just like any other Chrome app. And when you run it, you will see a whole lot of new features. And I'm not even going to try to do a rundown of all the new features right now. My goal with this, I'm so busy right now. My goal with this video is to just to show you that this is here. It's got so many cool features. Let me just show you a few of the features that I think are going to be really exciting. If I go to show user settings here, one of the things I can do is I can finally set the sticks, the sticks overlay, to be mode 2 or mode 1. So if you are from... A country down under if you're from a place where they fly mode one now you can have mode one on your black box if that's what you so desire um, you can set up a custom craft here for the craft overlay if you fly some weird craft you don't have to be stuck with aquatics and you can set up the motor mixing too exactly how you want it very exciting the thing that is potentially most exciting is this spectrum analyzer display and you get the Spectrum Analyzer display. Let me put it back how you would see it. So you've opened up your log file. You get the Spectrum Analyzer display by going over to one of your traces and see this little Spectrum icon here. You click this little Spectrum icon here, and it brings up the Spectrum Analyzer. And then you can also click here to make it uh, full screen. So exciting. Now, this is nice because in order to tune your notch filter, you need to know the spectral shape of your noise. You need to know what uh, you know where the peak of your noise is. And before now, you had to use a program. I, I showed a program called New Hertz Spectra, which I think is the easiest and simplest way to get that done. But it still has a lot of steps and is beyond many people's uh, ability to do. Now, it's just as simple as clicking this button. I am not in this video going to tell you how to tune the notch filter one thing at a time. Okay, I just want you to know that if you're going to try to tune your notch filter and you need the spectral data, it is now easier than ever before to get. The instructions for doing that are here in the Betaflight wiki. You can follow these instructions right here you go. These instructions right here. And that will tell you how to do it using this black box viewer. A video is coming on how to tune the notch filter and the P term set point weight and the D term set point weight and all the other exciting features of beta point, uh, beta flight 3.0. For now though, I'm going to cut this off. Download this black box viewer and explore it. Just poke. It's not that complicated. Just push all the buttons, right? Now look at the, here's the help right here. See this? Click this. Look at this. Figure out what it can do. Okay. Play with it. Enjoy it. And as always, Happy flying.